All right, so we're back. Um, we're ready to glaze now, and I'm gonna do a little bit of glazing for you, um, just so you can see what it's like. Um, you'll really get a sense of how the glazes work once you actually get them into your own hands and on your own projects, because um, they're a little temperamental. Um, but at least this will give you kind of an intro to everything. So I have my setup here. And okay, I got my glaze that I chose. I chose forest green. I have a nice brush. Um, and I got a little bit of water just in case the glaze dries on my brush a little bit or feels a little clumpy. I can kind of wash it out in the water. I've got some nice paper towel also, and I've got my project. Um, now, if your project is feeling a little dusty, that's not good. So you can um, rinse it under the sink if you want. Um, a lot of people do that actually, so that could be a good idea. Um, you also want to make sure your hands are as clean as possible because um, this project, it's bisqueware now, um, and it's really dry. So if I like wet it like that or something, you'll see that it'll dry in a second. It's just completely dried out. Um, and it's really absorbing everything that it takes on right now. So my fingers have lots of oil on them, right? Um, that's what they, that's just how it goes. And that's why I don't touch my face that much. Probably why you don't touch your face too much either because you don't want to get pimples. And um, if the sculpture is absorbing all that oil later on, you'll kind of see fingerprints on here, which is not great. Um, so you don't really want that to happen. Um, now see, it's like practically dry already. It just, sucks everything up. Um, so you can go rinse this off if it's feeling kind of dusty to you because the dust will also kind of mess up the glaze later on too. Um, so I've got my glaze here. Yay! Good stuff. Um, and there's some things you want to remember. Um, you really need to just keep an eye on what you're doing. This is not the time to um, glaze a little bit and then walk away and then like talk to other people and then look at your phone and then come back and um, and then try and start glazing again. You really wanna see what you're doing because you need to see where your glaze is going. Um, so I'm gonna just um, paint this little jacket. Um, now we need to pay so much attention because the glaze dries really quickly. Okay. And like, as you can see, by the time I'm over here, that's already practically dry. Okay. Now, um, when you're applying the glazes, one coat just doesn't do it. Um, you're gonna have to do two coats of any color, three coats if it's red or orange. Um, it just needs more coats. Now, when I was in college, um, and my professor told me to do three coats of red, otherwise it wouldn't come out red. I was like, oh my God, whatever. Like, he's like making this up. Um, why would, why would it matter if I put three coats or two coats? So I would put like two coats and then um, my the project that I wanted to look red came out looking like poo-poo brown. Um, so <laughs> please listen, uh, put two coats of any color and three coats if it's orange or red. Um, now, the reason I need to look at what I'm doing so much is that, okay, I've already got one coat of my green on here, right? Well, um, I could start with my second coat of green and then suddenly I remembered what happened on The Bachelor last night and I really need to go talk to um, Amy about what happened on The Bachelor and then I come back and suddenly that spot is, see it's already drying. Um, and then I can't remember where I put my second coat on and where I still just have one coat on and it just all gets very confusing and then later on when it gets fired there's gonna be this nice like bright spot of green and then everything else will be kind of blotchy. Um, so that's not cool. So you gotta pay attention to what you're doing so that you make sure and you glaze everything as evenly as possible, okay? Um, now, if we talked about the whole idea of glaze being similar to creme brulee. You're gonna know that this sucker is gonna get fired and all this dried up glaze is gonna like bubble up and basically melt and then turn to glass and harden, um, which is why we don't want to glaze the bottom of our sculptures, okay? Now, something happens, and, oops, I accidentally got some glaze on this or I painted a spot that I didn't wanna paint. That's okay, we can get rid of this. Let's get a little bit of wet paper towel. And Just wipe it off as best you can. You can even go grab a sponge if you need. And just do the best you can to get it off. And then you should be good to go. And that's basically 
um, the basics of glazing. Just pay really good attention. It dries really fast. Two coats, three if it's red or orange, and uh, that's about it. Oh, now I'm going to go and clean this out.